guys, questions like these always come up on the SAT, okay? So it's really important to know them, so just watch. The function f defined by f, to like fx, let's say that this is x, 14x plus 9, gives the estimated length in inches of a wine plant t months after Taven purchased it. Which of the following is the best interpretation of 9 in this context? Guys, let me tell you what this means. I purchase a plant right? And what, uh, what will happen to that plant? Well, as months go by, my plant is going to increase in height, right? So it's going to keep growing. So what does that mean? In one month, maybe it will be, it will be 23 centimeters, right? In two months, it will be 37. So as you can see, when you have something that is growing and you're trying to find it in the data, like in the equation, it needs to be the one with the variable. Why? Because when you type in different numbers there, this, like the solution, I mean the y in this uh, function, it will change, right? So you're looking for change. I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say. So what does that mean? Is that, let me tell you what it means. So t is... It stands for months after Taven purchased it. So guys, let me tell you what this means. It means that the 14 here is how much this plant grows in a month, okay? So in one month, in one month it will grow 14 centimeters. And in two months, it will grow 27, 28. But I'm not saying like this F1 equals to 14. That's not what I'm saying, okay? Why? Because the nine here represents how tall the plant is when you buy it, okay? So it's already nine centimeters, right? But as months go by, it's gonna keep growing. So the nine here actually represents, hey, how long, like in length, was this plant when I bought it, okay? So the answer is D. The estimated length of the wine plant went nine inches when Taven purchased it. So yep, I hope you could understand. Keep doing well, keep studying, you got this. Goodbye.